Yes, I know it's short notice, Father, but it is very important to us. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this. We'll be there as soon as possible. Okay. What was that all about? That was Father Markham. He's agreed to Chris and Trevor tonight. Tonight? Yeah. You and I just started talking about this. I haven't had time to make arrangements, invite anyone. <laughs> it's all right. I've taken care of everything. We have the priest, the church. All we need is the mother, the father, and the baby. Oh, what about the godparents? Don't I get a say in that? All right, wait a minute. Don't tell me. You want Jake to be the godfather. Jake is my husband. He is Trevor's stepfather, someone that will be there for him while he grows up. Someone I want giving him practical and spiritual advice to, and isn't that the definition of a godparent? He's also the reason why I missed out on the first few months of Trevor's life. Oh, will you stop blaming Jake for that? It, that was my doing, oh, okay? He was only doing on. what I told him to do. And besides, I thought you said that you were ready to accept Jake as part of our lives. Yes, I am, but come on, Amanda. Give me at least a step at a time. I think I've been pretty reasonable when it comes to Jake. I've already given in a lot. Given in? Yeah. I gave up my life with my husband to, to move in here and co-parent our son. I am trying everything I can to make this work. If anyone has given in, it is me. And I think that I have every right to name the godparent of my baby. Look, Jake is already a huge part of Trevor's life. And this will only make it a more lasting commitment. Unless you have some plans of, of trying to cut him out again. All right, look, I'll make you a deal. You get to pick the godfather if I get to choose the godmother. That depends. Who do you have in mind? Marissa. That would mean a lot to me. You have a deal. Great. I'll call Jake. Uh, you know, don't you think it would mean a lot more if it, if it came from me? Thanks for coming so fast. Well, I haven't exactly been keeping up my promise to you. When you moved in here, I told you that I'd be around for moral support, and I've been out of the house, like, constantly. JR. Yeah. Yeah. It's no worries. I totally understand. But you're okay, though, right? I mean, David hasn't done anything, has he? Just a sudden, last-minute decision to have Trevor's christening tonight. Whoa. What's the rush? I don't know. Ask David. Anyway, the important part is lining up his godparents, and we would like you to be Trevor's godmother. Wow. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, you're already family, and it's the only thing that David and I actually agreed on, so... Are you okay with it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I, it's, I was just getting used to the idea of being an aunt. This is, even if it's just ceremonial, it's something that I would really want to take seriously. Well, hey, it's not like you're going to be up there on your own. Jake is going to be Trevor's godfather. Jake? And David's okay with that? No, but he's pretending to be. He's trying really hard to make this all work. He's trying really hard to get me to fall in love with him and forget Jake. Yeah, well, he desperately wants to have a family. I can't give him that. My heart belongs to Jake. All right, I want you to prep Mrs. Cropper and you tell that lovely lady I will see her in the OR. No, you won't. Tell Dr. Stansel he'll be performing Mrs. Cropper's surgery this evening. This way, doctor. Hey. Let's get this straight. You like to play nice, nice in front of Amanda, right? But then when we get to work, you want to throw your weight and your rank around to show me up, to put me in my place? No, actually, I'm both playing nice and pulling rank. I'm clearing your schedule so you can attend Trevor's christening this evening. And look, Amanda's nowhere in sight. I'm just full of surprises, aren't I? Okay, so a couple of last-minute invitations, and then uh, you let my wife see me, you know, an hour here, an hour there. You think that's going to make her change the way she feels about you? 
I'll tell you, Dave, we do know what you're up to, okay? Just so mm. you know. Yeah, see, no, you're wrong about that, too. This is Amanda's idea. She's the one that wants you to be the godfather of Trevor. I'm just passing along the invitation. Oh, come on, Jake. You don't think I know what's going on? I'm not the one with the agenda here. You and Amanda testing me. You're trying to see how far you can push me before I give up and I let Amanda move back in with you. Look, Dave, I know you hate me. <laughs> and I know you hate me being anywhere near Trevor or being in Amanda's bed for that matter. But if mm. what you say is true, why don't you just cut her loose right now? I'm doing this for my son, Jake. He needs to be with his mother, so I'm giving in to her desires. Otherwise, you're absolutely right. I wouldn't let you get involved in any way, shape, or form. It's something you need to keep in mind, Jake. Trevor will never be your son. He's my flesh and blood. He's my son. You're nothing to him.